Okay, so um, now we're ready for the deck profile of uh, the Chaos Plant deck. Um, actually, uh, many people think that uh, the plant plant type uh, deck deck types uh, are dead because Dandelion got limited uh, on the last ban list. But uh, the truth is, it's it's far from dead. Dead really. You just have to fit in another tech to the deck, and uh, since Chaos Sorcerer and uh, Card Trooper is now uh, unlimited and semi-limited. Um, you can you can play uh, Chaos really easily. And Spirit Reaver is at two two. So um, to start off, we have uh, Raikou in the deck, the part of the Light Monsters, of course, for Chaos Sorcerer, and it helps with the mill. And Raikou in general is just uh, so good good card really. Um, because of the destruction, you can get rid of uh, annoying cards like Royal Oppression and um, Skill Drain, which, which this deck really suffers under because it's such an explosive deck and uh, it's very, very much based on explosive plays and synchro, uh, synchro summoning a lot of big monsters and then winning in one turn. And just uh, a Royal Oppression or a Skill Drain can really just uh, stop that from happening. So, so Raikou, very, very good card. And, uh, and then it's light, of course. And uh, the other light monsters is uh, Lila, Light One Sorceress, and Dimensional Alchemist. Lila, I've just uh, found a spot for her in the deck. Um, she's uh, kind of the same as Rico, uh, spell trap destruction, and uh, gets rid of annoying cards like uh, like Skill Drain and Royal Impression, etc. Et and uh, also the Dragonity Field spell. Now I know Dragonity in Denmark especially are very popular, I guess it's like this all over the world. Uh, the Dragon Ravine, or whatever it's called, yeah, it gets rid of that. Then uh, Dimension Alchemist, also a light monster. It uh, has very good synergy in this deck because, uh, of course, Chaos Sorcerer removes from play um, cards. And uh, I have some other cards that also removes, like Balfader removes itself and Spore removes a plant type monster and uh, Plague Rail gets removed after uh, it's used, so Dimension Alchemist almost always has a target in the remo remove from play pile that you can fetch back in your hand, So and then it's light. That's uh, very important to notice. And then of course the start of the deck, Care Sorcerer. Um, now it's back at 3, it's, uh, it's simply outstanding, it's, it's so amazing. Yeah. Because you can just special summon it. Uh, this deck uh, really depends a lot of special summoning, so like you can special summon a lot of monsters in one turn, and uh, and chaos also really help helps in that aspect. And with all the mills you have and all the um, yeah the mills, you can get uh, very quick quickly get uh, lights and darks in your grave, so so it's no problem. And uh, then we have the dark monsters here, spirit reaver, and battle fader, sangen, chaos, and dark armed and gorse, all are darks, and uh, spirit reaver, I have it at one, I guess you can play two if you want to, but I think one is the perfect number, because you can search it out with uh, Sangen if you if you really need it, and then it's also just good to, like, special summon a care sorcerer, normal summon a spirit reaver, remove the whatever monster, and then attack directly, you can clear the field really easily with the spirit to make a Spirit Reaper's effect active, so that's really nice. And Gorse, Gorse is just Gorse. I think it's a stable in most decks. It's really, really, really good, especially in this deck since I do not have a heavy back row. Um, so my field is, uh, most of the time my field is cleared, so Gorse is uh, almost always active. And if it gets milled, it's, it's still a dark in the grave, so no problem. Balfader, I've put it Balfader at one because what this deck loses to is uh, if you if you do not get your deck set up, then you're really open to an OTK because you don't have any back row really. So, so battle fader on your hand, you can just stop that OTK and then it's level one, so you can synchro summon with a spore or glow up bolt for a formula synchron. So if, if yeah, that's that's really good formula synchron right here. I'll explain uh, how that works in the deck later. So. Then Sangen searches out a lot of stuff in the deck. You can search out Rico, 
Damage and Alchemist, Lila, Spirit Reaver, Battle Fader, and then Dandelion Spore, Necro Gardener, Plague Spreader, Globe Bob, Card Truer, Lone Fire Blossom, and Deeper Strain. You can almost search out every every monster in the deck because you don't really run any big beaters and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then I've checked one single cards because you will get a lot of tokens on the field from Dandelion, of course. You know that from, from plant decks. And, and not only that, but also Chaos Sorcerer can be special summoned and uh, Gorse token, you can tribute that. It's easy to get uh, to, to find a monster you want to tribute for Chaos. And Chaos is just good in general. Remove from play, play cards is, is the best, really. Then I, I played Dark Armed. Mm because it's quite easy to uh, decide what monsters are in your graveyard because of Chaos Sorcerer you can remove from play darks and there's a lot of mills so you will easily get some of the monsters in your graveyard you can also uh, put them back with the Pot of Arise so you can you can get uh, uh, free darks in your grave quite easily really so that's why Dark Arm is in here it, is, it has really uh, been good in testing so I'll, I'll keep that then uh, these five cards Basically, what uh, what you want to mill with your mills and dandelion, spore, glow bulb, necro garden, and plague spreader zombie. Um, especially dandelion is very important because um, it, it lets you do the black rose place with deepest dragon. That is so powerful. Uh, a well timed black rose will win you games a lot of the times, and uh, yeah, that's that's really great. And, and, uh, spore and glow bulb they are for the uh, also the special summoning you can uh, your opponent often forgets that they're in your graveyard and you can just boom make like free synchros in one round suddenly and then uh, use a trap stun or whatever and giant tunate then uh, win you th win the game really so that's really great and glow bulb um, it works really well with the dandelion with the tokens. You can just if you have two tokens on the field, you can normal summon glow bulb, synchro summon uh, formula synchro, then again uh, use glow bulb's effect, get it out of the field, make another formula synchro. That's two cards, like a, a free pl plus one. Really, it's uh, the stake. It's, it generates a lot of advantage that way um, between formula synchro, part of our eyes, black rose. Even card trooper lets you uh, not lose advantage because when it gets destroyed, you obviously get to draw one card. So a lot of advantage in this deck, really. And um, plague spreader and necro gardener, they they both of them they're dark. So of course, if you really uh, if you're in a bad spot, you can remove them for care sorcerer. And um, yeah, necro gardener again, it's it helps uh, with uh, stopping the OTKs. And uh, I think it's it's generally a good card, even though it's it is at, at one, it's it's still good. You can and you can easily get it into a graveyard. Yeah, no problem. The plague spreader again lets you special summon very easily. You can also uh, like if you have a dandelion or whatever on your hand, and you have a plague spreader in your graveyard, you can stack the dandelion and then in the end phase mill with lila or or yeah, use Glowbot's effect mill the dandelion. That's also a way to do it. And you have uh, Deeper Strain. Um, it's a two now. I still think it's it's amazing, really. You can get take out uh, most of the time. It's Dandelion you want to to use, but also Lone Fire, Card Trooper, even Plague Spreader. You can take uh, use Necro Gardener and uh, Spore Glow Bulb, Spirit Reaper, and Raiko. So yeah, there's a lot of targets in the deck you can you can really uh, really use, and uh, I think I made a mistake. You cannot uh, you cannot uh, spend some necro gun, of course. It has six hundred attacks, so my bad. And um, yeah, deeper strain lets you set up uh, the synchro summonings as well as well with all the tokens. You can decide whether you want to make ancient fair dragon or black rose dragon. Ancient fair dragon is very good this format because. Um, that's like Gravekeepers and um, what are they called? Dragonities. They both run field spells, so you can just spell someone uh, an ancient fairy dragon. 
Yeah, that's good. Or you can use a black rose, as I said before. Uh, it's very good. Nuke the field, or use its second effect by removing a plant and then flipping up some defense position monsters. It 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 makes you win games. And with all your tokens, you can also uh, synchro summon for level eight most of the time, which will be Scrap Dragon or Star Dragon. And we know all know Star Dragon. It's just very good. And Scrap Dragon has a very good synergy in the deck too, because uh, of all the tokens, you can you can destroy and even if you have a card trooper on the field you can destroy that, draw a card, destroy one of your opponent's cards, plus one for you. That's really really good. Um, yeah, That's enough for Deacon Strain. Then uh, card trooper, it's back at two, I think it's an amazing card. Because uh, yeah, first of all of course it, it makes you not lose advantages as I said before and then it lets you mill your cards very fast so you'll easily get uh, lights and darks in the grave or mill Dandelion, Spork, Lorp, Necro Gardener, and Plague Spreader to the graveyard as well. So, really good card in general, and um, it's a 1900 beta. It, it goes, uh, it kills uh, mo most of level 4 or lower monsters, or you can suicide at least. And then Lone Fire Blossom lets you set up your major place by getting out uh, Dandelion, Spore, or Glower Bulb. So, the deck has uh, the ability to make um, Colossal OTK. Uh, by this, you need a, a Lone Fire Blossom on the field and a Dandy Line, I believe. Um, then you'll, yeah, I'm not really gonna explain how to to make it. It's it's quite complicated to explain, and it will take a lot of time. So, but uh, other way, you can make other Colossal OTK, or you can make this guy Shooting Star Dragon by having a uh, Lone Fire Blossom and a Dandy Line on the field at the same time. So that's uh, that's really good. And now for for the Spell and Trap lineup. First of all, Charge of the Light Brigade lets you let you mill as well, and um, then fetch either Ruriko or Lila, uh, depending on the situation. Yeah, you can't really say what you want to to, uh, to fetch to the hand most of the time, but uh, but yeah, it's definitely a good card. Then Mind Control is uh, has has proven well in testing, but uh, if I would ever need room in the deck, I, I think Mind Control is one of the cards that I could. Take a pull out of the deck if, if that's necessary, but it uh, synergizes well because there's a lot of tuners in the deck like Deepest Dragon and Spore, Glow Up, Plague Spreader, all tuners. That's a lot of tuner monsters, so you can always uh, use Mind Control. And, uh, and Rico is so popular in this format, it's always nice to do a Mind Control, a Rico, flip it, and then destroy one of their cards. That's very nice. Um, Foolish Boreal can be used for a lot of things in the deck. There's like these five targets you can uh, put to the graveyard with Foolish Boreal or you can you can uh, choose a light or dark if you just need it, need a light or dark for a Chaos Sorcerer or you can obviously, uh, if you have two darks in the grave you can send another dark like yeah, Plague Spread or whatever to the graveyard and then you have three for Dark Armed. So that, that also helps by with uh, regulating your graveyard. That's really good. And then Giant Trunet, as I said before, the deck is really an uh, explosive deck that uh, can make OTKs really easily. So Giant Trunet is a must in these kind of decks. Like Giant Trunet, no spell trap, make five synchros, win the game. That's easy. So then Palfaris, really, really a good card. It's it's like the best feeling in the world when you use Palfaris. Like Palfaris, I put in five synchros to my extra deck and draw two cards, that's not bad at all. And uh, it's only a two, I think, three is overkill. Some, someone play three, but yeah, I don't think so. It's, it will just uh, be dead most of the time, so two is a perfect number for me. Then uh, MST. Um, MST is... Uh, there's a lot of debate about MST. Uh, I just think it's such a good card. Uh, so I, I'll play it in, uh, in any deck, but uh, it's up to you guys. I just think it's a stable. It's let it lets you get rid of like all the continuous spell trap cards and also just uh, to destroy. If your opponent have, have has uh, one single uh, spell trap, you can destroy that and then you can make your OTK. So that's really good, just a good card in general. Then you have the stables down here: Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Book of Moon. Not much to say about that really. I just think they're stables, especially Book of Moon, even though it's at it is at one. Um, 
it's still such a good card because it lets you stop your opponent's plays and uh, of course it, st it stops uh, uh, monsters that has uh, continuous effects so you can all, you can just book them and then attack yeah that's that's really good and then for the sp for the traps mirror force solemn judgment uh, kind of stables uh, I think they're just good in general so and then we have Call of the Hornet and two limit reverse. They, uh, they serve as uh, they can also be used to set up the OTK for the special summon from the graveyard. Um, also, if you have like a dandelion or card trooper in your graveyard, you can use limit reverse on them, and then you'll you'll still get their effects. So you can you can chain it like that, and then not lose advantage. So that's really nice. Limit reverse lets you uh, summon. Um, any monster from your graveyard uh, with 1000 or lower attack to, uh, to the field in attack position and uh, when limit verse is destroyed the monster is destroyed and vice versa so it's like a uh, call for hornet for monsters with 1000 or lower life points really really good you can uh, you can obviously use, use it uh, on a lot of targets in the deck like Rico, Spirit Reaver, a Bell Fader even, a Sangen Dandelion, Glow Up, Spore, Necro Gardener, Plague Spreader, Card Trooper, Deepest Dragon, and Don't Fire Blossom. As you see, it's a lot of targets, and the effect of the monster is not even negated. So if you use it to get up a, a Lone Fire Blossom, then normal summon a Dandelion, boom, you've got a Colossal OTK. That's it, easy. So, um, and then Torrential Tribute. Uh, some people might argue it's not a stable. I think it is, and especially in this deck, it, it is really good because you can always uh, generate advantage by if you have a Katru on the field or a Dandelion or a Plague Spread or Glow Up or whatever, whatever you want in the graveyard, you can always use Torrential Tribute, destroy your opponent monsters, and you still uh, get some kind of advantage by using it. So that's really good. And then at last, two traps done. Um, yeah, it it works like giant trunade, and uh, it's of course it's chainable for to to bottomless or um, any non counter trap card. So yeah, very good. And then you can also just use it before you want to use your to uh, to make your OTK. So very very nice. And then a quick synchro lineup. We have uh, armory arm of course because you can make a colossal OTK with the armory arm. So that's just a must. And then. Magical Android and LF Justice Catastrophe on the level 5s. You can make level 5s quite easily. So and then uh, the reason I've, I've chosen to run both Magical Android and LF Justice Catastrophe is because Magical Android is, is light and LF Justice Catastrophe is dark. So I can I can decide which one I want to, to have in the graveyard. So yeah. And then I have two Formula Synchron for the level 2s, which you just spam all the time in this deck. And uh, it's really great. Um, and I also love its effect that you can uh, synchro summon in your opponent's turn, so you can always just wait and then let it sit on the field. And uh, when it's your opponent's turn, you can decide what synchro you want to make depending on what they do. So, yeah, that's really nice. And then there are six. I only have Bryonic because Bryonic, again, it it synergizes as well with the deck with, the, um, with by making the OTKs uh, available and. There's a lot of stuff you want to discard from your hand, like these five guys, and lights and darks and stuff, so... Um, really, really nice card for the deck. Then Arcanine Magician. It's really, really, really good in this deck, because um, you can make it quite easily with the Spore or Glower Bulb and Chaos Sorcerer. Because it's Spellcaster, obviously. And, uh, yeah, even with uh, Lila, I believe, or no, maybe not. Well, at least Arcanine Magician, really good. So you can like special summon a Chaos Sorcerer, remove from player monster, then special summon Glow up from your graveyard, make an Arcanine Magician, destroy two more cards. Or uh, you can like normal summon, uh, like special summon a Chaos Sorcerer, normal summon Spore, and uh, and then make an Arcanite. So, and then you can like make a Synchro further. Then, as I said, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yeah, very useful. Level 7, and it's a dragon, so you can make it with Deepest Dragon, of course. And then two Black Rose Dragon for uh, destruction. Yeah, that's nice. And Colossal Fighter for the OTK. Scrap Dragon and Starless Dragon. 
their dragon so you can make them with debris dragon and uh, and then we have a fall ruler here I've just added fall ruler to deck I just think it's so so nice especially against um, all the all the control decks and it it uh, gets rid of depression and a lot of other cards that that uh, target it so yeah you can use it that way and then you gain the life and that's nice so yeah the life of the opponent's monster you kill of course and then last the shooting star ring it's in here because you can actually make it and it has a very high attack so sometimes it's better than star ring sometimes it's not uh, yeah that's about it done <laughs> play the deck it's good yeah, it's really good. I've really won a lot with it. Uh, I actually ended uh, fourth at uh, the Danish regionals, so that's nice. So.